to solve a nice exponential equation. Let's move the last two terms to the right side. So we get 4 to the power x equals 192 minus 64 times x. 192 equals 64 times 3. So we get 4 to the power x equals, take the factor 64 out, 64, then we have 3 and then minus x. 64 equals 4 cubed. So we get 4 to the power x equals 4 cubed times 3 minus x. Now both sides divided by 4 cubed. So we get 4 to the power x over 4 to the power 3 equals 3 minus x. Using exponent rule, the left side becomes 4 to the power of x minus 3. The right side, 3 minus x. Nice, because the exponent is the opposite of the right side. So if we let t equals the right side, 3 minus x, then the equation becomes 4 to the power negative t equals t. To solve the resulting equation, let's try to eliminate t from the left side. To do that, both sides raise to the power of negative 1 over t. So we get 4 to the power of negative t, then raised to the power of negative 1 over t. The right side, t to the power of negative 1 over t. The left side can be written as 4 to the power of negative t times negative 1 over t. The right side, t to the power of negative 1 times 1 over t. The product equals 1, so the left side becomes 4 to the power of 1. The right side can be written as t to the power of negative 1 to the power of 1 over t. 4 is 2 squared, so 2 to the power of 2 equals t to the power of negative 1 can be written as 1 over t to the power of 1 over t. It is nice because we can use the following fact. The function y equals x to the power of x when x greater than 1 is an increasing function. That means a unique y corresponding to a unique x. So if x to the power x equals 2 to the power 2, then x must be 2. So x equals 2. Using this fact, we can solve the resulting equation view 1 over t as the single variable x. So we see 1 over t equals 2, right? 1 over t equals 2, upside down. So t equals 1 over 2. Finally, let's get back to x. We know 3 minus x equals t, but t now equals 1 over 2. Move 1 over 2 to the left side negative x to the right side. So we get 3 minus 1 over 2 equals x. So x equals 3 minus 1 over 2, which is 5 over 2. That is the final answer. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you.